Hi, and welcome back to the Stride Championship Series. I'm Chris Puckett, next to Sundance G. Giovanni, and we are bringing you another amazing game. So without further delay, let's get to the action. We got a big match once again between two big names. This time, it's Triggers Down in Red, featuring SK, Fear Itself, Hysteria, and of course, Loken. And then in blue, we've got Team Carbon, led by Team Captain Shockwave, Karma, Gosiami, and Gandhi. We talked to both teams before the match. Let's see what they had to say. Uh, probably going to go for Shockwave. He seems like one of their strongest players. We're going to try to take Fear itself probably out of his game because uh, he's probably one of their best players, if not the best player on that team. Today's game is Team Slayer on Guardian. Look for teams to control the camel located top of the gold tower. Using that camel for some up-close action with the mauler bottom middle and at long distance you'll see the sniper rifle. The game begins right after the break. Would you speak to someone directly? Say, agent. Hey. Oh. Got it. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Sweet Berry. We're starting this one off with Shockwave, the team captain of Carbon, and it looks like he's going to be making his way over towards the camel to start this one off. Dodging a few grenades from green, now he's going to be pushing in, so he's got the camel. It's a one-to-one -one game right now, but Shockwave and the rest of Carbon are set up pretty well. As you see, he's going to be able to grab the mauler bottom middle and push in on the sniper. He changes his direction over towards green, taking out Fear itself. Now putting long shots on Loken, he's going to be backing up now. Like this play by Shockwave, knowing he's at a disadvantage there, going to make his way towards Sniper Tower and try and get that sniper rifle into the control of Team Carbon. Well, he's trying to be really sneaky here with the camel. So far, it's paying off, and he's able to sneak right behind Hysteria, taking him down. Did not pick up the sniper rifle. Instead, he pushes in against Loken with the BR, cleaning up the kill, and now he's got the sniper, but Fear takes him out. So nice defensive stand there by Triggers Down, not falling apart. They're going to be able to get their power weapons right back. And now Hysteria's got the sniper rifle set up once again as you see him hitting Gandhi there once, dropping his shields. Here comes Shockwave and two shots in the air. He caught Shockwave with a headshot and now he's got the mauler as well. So Hysteria is loaded up here. He's going to be using that mauler at short range as you see. He takes down Karma and he put another shot on Ghostiami. Hysteria lighting things up here Sundance. You gotta love this your triggers down fan. The stereo able to drop shields, keep carbon at bay, they're not able to cross the map and come at him and try and take control of the snipe tower. And triggers down just doing whatever they want to carbon right now, really building on that lead and taking advantage. Well it's 13 to 9. Hysteria just barely missing Shockwave with that long range headshot. He's out of sniper ammo, now picking up the battle rifle, but no big deal. Triggers Down has the 5 kill lead and they still have control of the snipe tower, or at least they did momentarily. Gandhi's perfect grenade takes down Hysteria, now they're pushing in on Loken, but Loken takes down Gandhi. Nice play. Loken checking snipe 2, saw the mauler shot. And now instead of fighting him, it looks like Loken is going to run away trying to help out SK bottom middle as they do. It's 18 to 11. A 7 kill lead here for Triggers Down. And it looks like they're going to be moving over towards the new camo which is coming up. Love this play by Loken. Team communication going to help SK. And look, it's paying off. Great play right there, getting karma. That's right. He knew the camel was coming up in just any moment. Pushed it into the top gold, taking down Shockwave, the double on karma, and getting the camel out of Carbon's hand. We're now jumping on board with karma from Team Carbon, checking out the snipe tower. He knew the sniper just came up, looking for it. Hysteria has it top middle, ending Hysteria's life top blue, picking up the double kill on SK. And now karma is not done, hitting Hysteria with the shot on his respawn. Saw Hysteria there, top blue, but moving bottom blue, he hit Fear itself with a no-scope, unable to finish the kill, but you see the rest of Carbon is pushing in to try and clean up. It's 23-15, to 15. make it 25-15, to 15. as Triggers Down just gave themselves a 10-kill lead. Karma set up here, top blue, waiting for someone to charge him. Here's Hysteria, he hit him once, dropping his shields. Saw Loken dropped his shields as well, and he is not done picking up the kill, but Karma is finally taken out. Karma having a huge run there, but he can't do it all on his own. We're now jumping on board with SK, who just picked up another kill, bottom middle. There's the double on Karma's respawn. Things are not going his way, and SK is going to be forced to back down now by Shockwave. Calling out for help to fear itself. Fear throwing a few grenades, forcing Shockwave to back up. 
focusing his attention top middle cleans up the kill on karma and just great teamwork here and check out for yourself putting down the long range damage Ask any top pro on this circuit who's got the best long range VR and they'll tell you fear itself. He's a force to be reckoned with. No one wants to see him shooting at him long range, especially if they're distracted. Great job there by fear itself and triggers down. Well, fear shield is down and Karma takes him out. Karma picking up the double kill now on Loken. Now pushing into blue room. He took down all of the shield for Hysteria. And a heads up play here by Hysteria, dumping that sniper off the map. I like Hysteria's choice right there. Dump the map, reset the sniper rifle because they're happy to go head to head with just BRs because right now they're out shooting Carbon. And that was definitely a heads up play. All of Carbon was over there on the gold tower. Hysteria knew he was all alone and decided to dump off that power weapon. But now Karma is pushing in top snipe here, pushing in aggressively, takes down SK. Now he's got the mauler. Pushing in, he's met by Woken and Fear Itself as he is taken down. So Fear Itself now pushing bottom middle, letting his shields recharge. Saw Ghost on bottom of Snipe Lift, tossing a grenade, but he's going to be hit by a grenade from top blue room. Now waiting for his shields to recharge. They have an 11 kill lead still. Triggers down and complete control. They still have map control as you see them camping on this Snipe Tower. You know, I got to say, Fear Itself... It triggers down. They've been playing really well, worrying about the setups and letting Carbon have to fight through that. Reminds me a lot of Final Boss, a team that they've land with quite a bit. You know what? It's paying off. Well, definitely. Triggers down is showing that patience and teamwork is better than, I guess, aggression and single charges. As you see, Shockwave is going to be taken out of midair. And Triggers Down, they're really showing that their communication is among the best here on the pro circuit. Every battle you see, there's at least two people fighting the opponent. Triggers Down... Locking down Snipe Tower still, and this is why the new sniper was coming up. Fear itself has it. He's got the Mauler also in his back pocket for short range damage, and he's going to be using it now on Gandhi top snipe, but he's hit by Gandhi's plasma grenade, and he drops off the map, losing both Sniper and the Mauler. So big play there for Carbon. Yeah, if you're a Carbon fan, that's a, that's a good thing, because now they have a chance to push through. No Sniper to keep you at bay, no Mauler to stop you up close and personal, but they can't trade kills. They need to take control of that spot and hold it down for the next snipe. That's right, they need to start winning individual battles. As you see, Shockwave fell in into that situation trading kills there with hysteria that is not what carbon needs in the final moments of this game triggers down is just seven kills away from ending it you see fear itself picking up another long-range kill there on gandhi top camo hysteria sitting snipe two. just five kills left for triggers down hysteria looking top blue takes down ghost yami getting a call there's someone on snipe tower it's gandhi backing away from his grenades and getting the call out there, Shockwave top camel, he cleans up the kill, that's the 49th kill, now going for the final kill on Ghost Yami, but he's taken down, just one kill away, his trigger's down, and SK is looking to end it, going up against Shockwave, and the perfect BR shots takes him down, trigger's down, takes this one, 50 to 38, dominating Carbon here on Guardian. Real statement performance for Triggers Down, dominating that entire game, not letting Carbon get set up or go on a run. They've got to be feeling really good about how that match went. Well, let's check out the stats. Hysteria having a huge game, as we mentioned, 15 kills, only 9 deaths. That's a positive 6 ratio. SK and Fear also going positive. And then on the Carbon side, nothing really positive happening there. Nobody controlled the sniper rifle, and you can't expect to win that way. We'll be back with the Dr. Pepper More To It moment right after the break. Today we'll uh, explore multiple personalities, also known as... Yeah, boy! You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before you miss it! Tu sabes que soy flavor, me dicen flavor. You can discover something new in every sip. You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before When you explore the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Delicious! And now for the Dr. Pepper more to it moment of the game. This one is coming from SK at the final moments of the game. The perfect BR taking out Shockwave to win the game for Triggers Down. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. Be sure to come back next week for more exciting action right here at MLGPro.com.